They don't check their blood sugars consistently. That's right, I'm talking about five common mistakes that a lot of type two diabetics actually make. Some of these my patients make. The first one is not checking blood sugars consistently or as often as we would like as doctors. Now with this, it's really important to know when your doctor wants you to check your blood sugar because taking a fasting sugar, that means first thing in the morning before you've eaten something, is completely different than taking it after meals or at other times. So you gotta know exactly when your doctor wants you to take your sugars, but if you don't check your sugars regularly like you're supposed to, um, you're missing out on a lot of important information that you and your doctor needs to keep your diabetes in check. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. Here are four other things <laughs> that uh, common mistakes that type 2 diabetics make. Uh, second thing is not knowing what your sugars should be. If you're checking your sugar but you have no idea what it should be, well, that's not going to help you either. Remember, your blood sugar, your daily blood sugar is um, is going to give you some insight into what your A1C or your three-month average will be, meaning you shouldn't be surprised roughly when you go for that A1C because you should have been checking your sugars and having an idea of what it is along the way. It also gives you some ideas idea of how to adjust what you're eating and things like that. So making sure that you're checking your sugars regularly and you know what that sugar number should be is going to be very important. Uh, the third mistake that a lot of people make when they're type 2 diabetic is they don't get um, nutritional education. Guys, nutrition is so important when it comes to diabetes and honestly, like when it comes to everything. Um, and, it, and, and yeah, many of us know kind of what to do. But honestly, I think one of the keys with diabetes, uh, type two especially, is to really know nutrition probably better than you know and probably better than your doctor can explain. That means going to see a nutritionist if you have that option. That can be so helpful. And look, if you don't have that option, not a big deal. You can go to diabetes.org. That's a great website that has meal plans, meal suggestions, gives you really solid tips on what you should be looking for from a nutrition standpoint. But guys, educating yourselves from a nutrition standpoint is so, so, so important. Uh, mistake number four, because a lot of my patients, um, I shouldn't say a lot of my patients, because a lot of my patients actually do uh, come regularly, but some of my type two, di type 2 diabetics don't understand that you've got to be seen regularly and often frequently when you have diabetes. When you've got type 2 diabetes, for my patients that say I'm just starting out on medications or what have you, we're seeing each other at least every three months, sometimes more frequently than that, depending on how severe the diabetes is at first. Then sometimes I can spread out to every four months or every six months, but that depends. So look, if you're seeing your doctor a helter skelter here and there, you're really not maximizing your care um, and you're probably not getting the best care. You need to be seeing your doctor on a regular basis. Find out what that interval is. And finally, the fifth mistake uh, that I see a lot of people making when they're type 2 diabetic is they're not remembering that for many people, things can change, which means if you exercise, if you lose weight, if you uh, uh, keep maintain a healthy weight, if you're eating healthy, things like that, uh, and your blood sugars come down, oftentimes it can mean coming off of some medications. And that is the case for a lot of people. Please keep that in mind. In other words, be hopeful about this. Um, I don't want you to look at type two diabetes, at least for most people, it is not something that has to be that way forever and to the same degree. So remember that, be hopeful, uh, and keep these five mistakes in mind so that you can make different choices. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. I'll be back soon.